Live a life that is worthy of emulation. Live a life that can attract somebody. Do you desire to be fruitful? The qualification for fruitfulness is that you must abide in him. As they cast him down, you will announce that there is a lifting up. As we are about to go into God's word, help me hold somebody's hands if you would. Hold somebody's hands if you will. Look at that fellow. Look into the eyes of the fellow whose hands you're holding. Say, beloved, there is something good in you. <laughs> Help me hold someone's hands. Squeeze that hands because you're squeezing favor into that hand. Squeeze that hands because you're squeezing greatness into that hand. Uh, 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 say neighbor, uh, there is something good inside of you. Mm. Uh, uh, do you believe what you have said concerning your neighbor? One more time for the third time. Say, neighbor, there is something good about you. I came to talk to someone today. I came to tell you that there is something good about you. There is something, there is something good. That this generation cannot deny about who you are. I, I, I didn't come for everybody. I came for somebody. Mm, I, I, I didn't come to talk to everyone. I, I came to talk to somebody that God sent me to. I, I, I didn't come to speak to everyone. Uh, uh, but I came to speak to just one person. Uh, help me help me look into your neighbor's eyes. Uh, and tell your neighbor there is something good about you. Uh, lift your eyes and shout your amen like thunder. Help me hold someone's hand if you will. Uh, oh, oh, squeeze it like you're going to break an hand. Uh, Ah, you're squeezing abundance into that hand. You're squeezing greatness into that hand. You're squeezing favor. There is something good. I don't know if your neighbor convinced you enough. Mm, but whether your neighbor did or not, uh, 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 look at your look at yourself. Look at yourself. You can look at your arms if you can. Uh, look at your hands if you can. Mm, mm, but do what I've asked you to do if you will. Uh, uh, look at your palm uh, 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 and uh, uh, call yourself by name, Kingsley Innocent. Uh, uh, there's something good about you. you believe there's something good in you? Do you believe it's going to manifest? Ah, talk to me now. Do you believe it's going to manifest? Uh, 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 join me. Uh, let's turn very quickly uh, uh, to the book of Romans chapter 15. Uh, the book of Romans chapter 15. Mm, it's prolific. Uh, it's great. 
uh, God is up to something. God is in here uh, to do something in the life of someone. I came for that person. Hey! Romans chapter 15. Are you there? Huh? Um, uh, uh, the, the, the book of Romans huh, uh, uh, is one book that uh, uh, we cannot uh, 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 overemphasize uh, on, on what is in this book. Uh, we cannot exhaust it because it's a deep letter of our brother Paul to the Roman church. And the Roman church is a kind of church. It is a church of its kind. It's another kind of church because the Roman church is a church that had passed through things made up of people with different beliefs and believisms. And the Roman church is a church that is made up of people who, who, who believe so much in idol worship and the worship of many kinds of God. So this letter was written to the Roman church. The few faithful Roman church members in the midst of, of prevailing evil, those who stood their ground and today in our society, it, 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 it looks like uh, uh, evil uh, uh, seem uh, to be uh, taking over good. Uh, it appears uh, uh, that uh, evil men uh, do better in the eyes of men uh, uh, than good men. Uh, and uh, in our days, uh, for you to be called a child of God and a committed child of God, uh, the society look at you several times uh, as being weak, as being incapacitated, uh, as being being unfavored uh, as, as being a, a victim uh, and most uh, some of us uh, carry Christianity uh, as though we have to be pitied uh, as though our generation uh, have cost us uh, for believing in him uh, and because of this singular reason uh, they look at the church folk uh, as those uh, that need help uh, uh, that hardly find one uh, because uh, uh, the, the society believe uh, because of our teaching uh, that we are taught in many churches and beliefs uh, that the God we serve is a God uh, that will always delay uh, and he doesn't answer when he should answer. He, he will not act until his own is done and worn out uh, and because of all of the use, uh, we live in a society where men hardly find out out, uh, the good deposit of God uh, on, on their lives and in their lives uh, most of them live and die without discovering uh, uh, that there is something good uh, on their inside uh, and uh, haven't known uh, the, the society we find ourselves haven't known uh, the, the, how critical it is in our time uh, I, I, I'm coming up uh, uh, by, by the persuasion of the Holy Ghost uh, to talk to you briefly uh, that there is something good about you uh, whether your neighbor saw it or not uh, whether your mother saw it or not uh, whether your father saw it or not uh, they may or may not see it uh, but whether they see it or not uh, the truth of the matter uh, is that there is something good on the inside of you uh, and I like you today to act upon faith uh, as you believe the word of God God promised uh, uh, to bring his words to pass over your life he promised to bring his words to pass over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, our brother Paul was writing to the Roman church. And in Romans chapter 15, I, I would want to read from verse 14. Romans 15, verse 14. And I myself also, I am persuaded of you. Mm, I myself. I myself I don't know about others but I myself I am persuaded of you 
<laughs> my brethren, I like this one. My brethren, I am persuaded of you. I am persuaded of you. I am persuaded on your behalf. I am persuaded because of you. I am persuaded in your favor. I am persuaded myself. Myself who have the assignment to talk to you. Uh, 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 let me point out something very quickly uh, before I go to my point because I'm not going to be talking so long today uh, because I didn't come to preach. I came for a, with a message. I, I just want to give you a message and I'll let you go. Uh, uh, so what I'm delivering today is a message. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not preaching. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, remember, uh, uh, Brother Paul made it clear uh, uh, that he's uh, 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 on assignment uh, uh, to, 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 to the Gentile. Uh, and the Romans happen to be one of the Gentile churches. Uh, so uh, th this man, uh, Brother Paul, uh, was talking to the people he was sent for. He was talking to the people he was assigned uh, to talk to. Uh, I, I came today as a messenger of God uh, and as a prophet of Jehovah. Uh, I, I came to talk to somebody uh, that I am assigned to. Uh, I came to speak to someone uh, that I have the assignment to, to speak to. I came to talk to my own. Uh, uh, Brother Paul was talking to the people he was assigned to talk to. He, he was talking to the Roman church. Uh, and he said, I myself. Uh, he, he said, don't bother uh, about what the outsiders tell you. Uh, you should consider what I tell you. Uh, because I'm assigned to you. Uh, because I'm sent for you. Uh, whatever I tell you is the mind of heaven consigning you. Uh, the word will talk to you. Uh, uh, by what they can see uh, the people around you uh, they will judge you uh, with what they can see uh, but I will talk to you uh, uh, by, by what God is saying concerning you uh, and most times uh, what God is saying concerning you uh, may not suit the ideology and the philosophies of men around you uh, but whether it suits it or not uh, uh, listen to me uh, I am persuaded on your behalf uh, uh, to say to you what I'm about to say uh, I have a push on the inside of me uh, I, I, I have persuasion uh, that is born of the Holy Ghost uh, as one assigned to you uh, as one who has the commission over you uh, I, I am on assignment for your sake and I like to tell you what Jehovah is saying I like to tell you what God is saying and I come with the word of God not to any other person but to you that I am assigned to oh, so he was talking to the Roman church uh, now the Roman church is a Gentile church uh, but, 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 but hear me most times in life uh, you need to know this uh, this Roman church uh, uh, that brother Paul was writing to uh, is a Gentile church uh, and there is this who believe uh, among the Jews uh, uh, that the Romans cannot be easily accepted uh, in their belief uh, uh, so uh, they believe uh, uh, that the Gentiles uh, are the rejected people uh, they are not accepted by God uh, I don't know who looked at you uh, and believed uh, that God have rejected you uh, and that you cannot be accepted uh, and, and that God cannot do anything with you uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, the good news here uh, is that brother Paul uh, who is writing to the Gentile church uh, to the church of Romans uh, happened to be a Jewish man uh, uh, but uh, the highest struggle he faced in his assignment uh, uh, came from his own people uh, the highest struggle uh, uh, came from his own people. Uh, I like to say this to you. Uh, uh, most times, uh, you, you are looking at outside uh, uh, to be where your challenge will come. Uh, it, it, it doesn't work out that way all the time. Uh, uh, most times, uh, uh, the greatest challenge you face uh, in your assignment in life uh, is from within. Uh, it's from within. Uh, uh, the people who would oppose you uh, uh, the most uh, are your very people. Uh, uh, 
uh, the, the, the people who, who, who will want you dead are, are your very people uh, and, and, and a bishop said something uh, uh, bishop Wallock said something and I quote uh, uh, he said uh, uh, the people uh, who, who, who oppose you the most are the people uh, uh, that you minister to uh, uh, the people you minister to uh, are those who oppose you the most uh, uh, but you minister to them uh, uh, that is to say uh, that the battles uh, uh, that you face in life uh, are not coming from outside uh, they are coming from the inside uh, because it is your brother uh, that will tell you to your face uh, uh, that I don't agree with you uh, it is your sister uh, that will tell you to your face uh, uh, that you have gone to do ritual uh, because it is your mother uh, uh, that will doubt what you carry uh, it is your father uh, uh, that will question your authority uh, uh, but they are members uh, uh, of the same family uh, uh, brother Paul uh, who was opposed in his mission uh, who was challenging his assignment uh, but the people who challenge him the most uh, are the members of his own family uh, uh, the members of his own food uh, I came to tell every believer uh, uh, that the challenge we face today as Christians uh, are not coming from outside uh, they are coming from inside uh, the people who challenge Christianity the most today uh, are Christians uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, I took my time in the recent time uh, uh, to cry over our nation uh, uh, because I want to speak to this country Nigeria uh, uh, and as I prayed uh, I discovered uh, uh, that we are the problem of ourselves uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, in Nigerian constitution today uh, uh, there is no reference to the Bible uh, uh, there is no reference to the Bible uh, uh, there is nothing in our constitution uh, uh, that was taken from the Bible uh, uh, but from inception uh, uh, Christians have always been there uh, they have always been there uh, but one thing is this it is one thing for the member of your family to be there it is another thing for them to represent the family I kept the talk to a believer wherever you find yourself uh, there is something good on the inside of you you need to represent the family where you come from I don't know if I'm talking to somebody I don't know if a believer is hearing me now wherever you go in that your line where you do your business you need to represent God you need to know where you come from you need to know the family from where you belong are you in the national assembly are you in the state assembly house are you in the upper or lower house are you a senator wherever you find yourself you must know who you are don't compromise your faith the time has come when the truth has to be told the time has come when the difference should be clear I don't know what you are representing but I say this to you the best way to represent is to represent from where you come from there is something good in you you are hiding it but you can bring it out you are holding it but you can bring it out out of fear out of selfishness many of us are hiding been that thing good in us there is something good in you I'm not suspecting say I'm not suspecting I know brother Paul was writing to the Roman church he said to them I myself I am persuaded I am persuaded I myself I am persuaded for you I am persuaded there's a persuasion on the inside of me mm, I came to talk to somebody today the Lord sent me to tell you that there is something good on the inside of you oh yes many of us we have closed the door to that good thing and, and most times we do that because we are afraid 
what are you afraid of most of us are afraid especially those who are representing us in one level or the other even in the government some of you are afraid and your fear is if I declare the truth now I may not come another time but child of God you are not there because you are compromising you are not there because you can play games who know the reason God sent you there who know the reason he planted you there there is something good on the inside of you I'm looking forward to seeing a time in our nation when the money will be offered to a judge to pervert justice and he will say no it is against my faith I am a Christian I'm looking forward to such a time when a magistrate will say I will not accept bribe I am a child of God I'm looking forward to when a policeman will say I will not accept bribe I am a child of God I'm looking forward to such a time when men will be given money to announce the wrong man as a winner after politics and somebody will stand up and say I will not do it I am a believer I'm looking forward to such a time when the good deposit that God has planted on the inside of us will begin to show up on the outside I'm looking forward to when the church folks will stand up on the truth and not do favoritism I love this one and I hate this one I'm looking forward to when a pastor will stand his ground and say I will not compromise Bible believing mission in the dwelling place of the God of talk and truth I'm looking forward when people will no longer look down on our faith because of our practice I'm looking forward to when a brother can trust a brother when a sister can trust a sister I'm looking forward when you can no longer get stranded anywhere in the world so long as there is a believer in that land I'm looking forward to when a brother will open his door for, for another brother and the brother will not betray his brother bring out that thing it's on the inside of you help me touch your neighbor say bring out that thing bring it out I'm looking forward to when the society around you will turn around and look at the kind of life you live and say this is a child of God I, 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 I'm looking forward to when a believer will be a blessing and I'm not a reproach I'm looking forward to when a believer will stand his ground and say I will not compromise my faith there is something good that God planted on the inside of me this nation is going to be good but somebody will start it it's not going to be good but worse if every one of us go ahead every day to just criticize and talk about how bad others are it wouldn't get better the only way it will get better is if you bring out the good thing in you and I bring out the good thing in me our nation will be a place to be I'm looking forward to such a time when somebody on his own who we say I am guilty and I am sorry ladies and gentlemen if you bring out the good in you now and I bring out the good in me now in this city uh, uh, crime will be less how can you ask your child not to tell lies uh, uh, but somebody came looking for you and you tell your child tell him I'm not around Uh, uh, tell her I'm not around and your child comes out knowing you are around uh, uh, to tell the person who came looking for you that you are not around and the same child will turn back inside and you call the child for advice and say look it, it is bad to lie don't you ever lie uh, uh, the child will look at you and say who is fooling who here come on 
Uh, the child will look at you. Who is fooling who here? Uh, are you fooling me or you're fooling yourself? Uh, uh, I may not take what you say, but I will take what you do. Uh, 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 be, be, because I, I will only learn what I see you do. Am I, am I talking to you now? Eh? Come on. Am I, am I talking to you now? Uh, 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 how can you tell your child not to do what the child see you doing. There is something good on the inside of you. You can bring it out. You can bring it out. Live a quality life. He said, I am persuaded of you. And I'm coming. In verse 14, he said, I'm persuaded of you. There's a persuasion on the inside of me about you, about who you are. Oh, brother, too many prayers are not answered today because you are not who you should be. The man here may not be the man God wants to bless. God is not looking for a way to bless a criminal. When you go to your business place, all you do is uh, oh, from morning till night, you keep telling lies. A uh, oh, customer come to buy this from you. And you tell the customer, you see this thing? I, I, I actually bought it for 80 naira, oh, oh, but give me 50. Just give me 50 because I, I want to, I have some goods I want to go and clear now. Give me 50. If you want to buy, buy quickly. Give me 50. Do you know that that lie will not make the customer buy? Come on. That lie will make the customer buy. And maybe that morning you prayed wonderfully and God was set to bless you and God was ready to lift you up. Uh -oh, but God is aware uh, uh, that with, with this way you started, if he bless you now, you will not say it's God. You will say it's your lie. You will say it is your strategy that blessed you. So what is God going to do? Uh, uh, God begins to walk against you when he should walk for you. He begins to walk against you because uh, uh, God is a jealous God. He does not share his glory with any man. And after that day, you come back and tell God, Oh God, where are you? Today was such a bad day, but, but, but I prayed. No, you prayed and you killed your prayer. Uh, you prayed and you stopped your prayer from working. Uh, a child of God, uh, that man didn't ask you, How much did you buy? He asked you, How much are you selling? Uh, you don't go and tell him how much you bought when you are not saying the truth. Uh, because immediately you start lying not like that. You are simply disowning God and making the devil your father. Uh, because the Bible said that the devil is the father of all liars. Uh, so when you begin to make the devil your father, uh, God backs out. And when God backs out, you are in trouble. Uh, because the devil can bless you. Uh, not at all. He has never blessed anybody. Uh, anything he gives to you, he will give you one and he will collect ten. Uh, that's who he is. Uh, but hear me now. Uh, there is nothing wrong. You wake up in the morning and you go to your shop. And you say, oh Lord, I'm not depending upon strategies. I'm not depending on what I know. Oh, but I believe there's something good on the inside of me. Every believer, there is something in you that is attractive. When you want to succeed, uh, there is a deposit God has placed on the inside of you uh, that will attract favor to you. But most times, that those favor will come. You will kill them yourself. You will murder them yourself. Somebody walks into your shop and the person is buying like four or five things you have and you don't have one of the things the person is looking for. And the person says, I need this one. And maybe you are scared that if the person go out to buy that one, the person may not come back. Uh, uh, th there is nothing wrong. Okay, I'll go get it for you. I will bring it for you. Not okay. Uh, ha -ha. Chino, do. You didn't bring it out. This boy is uh, inside the warehouse. Let me go and bring it. And there is nothing in the warehouse. At the end of the day, it's not what the lies. And your boy Chinedu is sitting there watching, looking at you. 
So another time you travel to Lagos to buy goods and, and, and Tinedu will sell what is in your shop. Go to another place, bring it and replace for you. Because our guy is selling costly when in the area cheap. When you come back, our guy yesterday it was tough. Oh. Irenda, that is what you taught him. You taught him how to lie. You taught him how to trick people. You taught him and he's learning well. He's a smart boy. If you, if you place a course on him, it will not work. If you do anything on him, it will not work. Why won't it work? He's only practicing what you taught him. But if in your line, everybody there know you as a sincere man. It may take you time to succeed, but when you succeed, you have succeeded. Uh, the customers themselves will tell one another if you want somebody that will tell you the truth go to this man true or false if you want somebody that will tell you the truth do what go to this man you, you, you can be trusted uh, people can trust you people can believe in you uh, and ladies and gentlemen how does it work uh, not when somebody come to your shop and say I want to buy shoe uh, uh, size 44 you say size 44 ah we have size 44 now uh, only for you to turn your back uh, re remove 44 from another place and place it upon 42 44 now food and what are you doing you don't want the man to talk about testing it 44 the man look just all you want is let the man go out of the place and he gets home and tests it uh -uh. this thing they wrote 44 but it's not sizing me and the man came back oh god come is that what they do yes but is it good? No, sir. That is why you will eat once, you won't see the person again. And tomorrow the person is coming to buy. You are saying, "Oh, come check here." The person will look your side because you've closed the door and you're asking God, "Where are you? What have you done to me, my friend?" There is something good on the inside of you. Bring it out. Bring it out. How many of you know uh, that it is easier for us to correct another person but difficult for us to correct ourselves? To tell somebody else what to do is very easy. But to say the same thing to yourself very difficult. But I like to give you a church. I want our society to be better. I want our lives to be better. If I can succeed, uh, uh, that is the call of God over my life. If I can succeed in making your mind uh, uh, to be in the right position, uh, then I can succeed in making heaven uh, release to you your heart desire. But how many of you know uh, uh, that God uh, doesn't like evil men? He doesn't like evil women. Are you here today listening to the sound of my voice? The word of God to you today said there is something good on the inside of you. Bring it out. Each time you tell lies, you know the truth. Come on. Each time you tell lies, you know the truth. If you make up your mind, you can still present the truth and live the lie. Make up your mind today. You can. You can. Most times... People who make themselves enemy with God act like they know too much. They feel they are too smart. They feel they know more than others. How many of you know that most of the things that make people run into trouble with God is pride? Unnecessary pride. I want them to know that I'm like this. I want them to know that I am this. I want them to know that this can happen. Come on. It makes you lie. It makes people steal. It makes you do what you are not supposed to do. Am I saying the truth to you? Unnecessarily. But you don't need it. I don't need to paint any picture to you. I don't need to appear in church now and tell you that I am an angel. Only for me to walk out of this place and I am something else. Uh, uh, the best way to live life is that each time I appear before you, I appear the way I am. I appear the way. 
so that in your closet you can open and close your eyes and say this is who my pastor is and this is who he is and not just that I'm another person before you and behind you I'm another person and, and what are you trying to do you are painting a picture that God cannot identify with you're making yourself into a being that God cannot identify with so many of you have things to say but you can't say them you will hide your mouth under the carpet to say it. even in church if even in church somebody wanted on yeah what are you doing because you don't want to make yourself known come on I, I, i'm very soon uh I'll be true with this. I told you I didn't come to preach today. I came to give you a message. So I told you before I started. So verse 14. And I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that ye also are full, not shall be full. You are full of what? Goodness. You are full of goodness. Not that you shall be full of goodness. Not that you will be full of goodness. You are full of goodness. Uh, shall I remind you that inside of every wicked man there is kindness. Oh, Yalabosa. Inside of every wicked man there is kindness. Inside of every hard man there is niceness is in you is in you you decided to do the other one the right one is there it's on the inside of you shall i remind you that any day you wake up and don't come to church inside of you there is a desire to go to church you only overcame that desire come on any day you wake up and give yourself reason not to go to church there is another reason on the inside of you to go to church but the only thing that happened to you was that you allowed the other reason to subdue the other one so you allowed the bad one to subdue the good one and took charge of you but whether it's on the inside of you is on the inside of you you do bad good is inside you anytime you treat the poor badly to treat them kindly is inside you you only subdued that one to do the other one you can still make up your mind that I will not treat them badly I will treat them nicely and you can do it because it's in you You are full of goodness. Anytime you do bad, good is in you. The only thing you did was that you allowed the bad to subdue the good. But that good is inside you. Child of God, there is something we call conscience. Each time you do something, your conscience will tell you that this thing I have done is either right or wrong. We talk about uh, our conscience being dead. We say people's conscience are dead. No matter how dead your conscience is, at each point in your life when you do the wrong thing, it will still talk to you. It may not we know, but it will talk to you. Your conscience will tell you but what you have done is wrong. Come through of us. Each time you take what is not your own, your conscience will tell you. Eh? Your conscience will tell you. Each time you plot evil against another, your conscience will tell you. Each time you plan bad against another, your conscience will tell you. Each time you are involved in any kind of conspiracy, your conscience will tell you. Each time you cheat on yourself, your conscience will tell you. Each time you cheat on your partner, your conscience will tell you. Each time you do something that is ungodly, your conscience will tell you. But the truth of the matter is, you have succeeded in subduing the goodness on your inside and you allow the bad one to take over and that makes 
wants you to live a life that you are not sure of. And that is what makes a believer to live in fears. Oh, that is what makes a believer to live a hidden life. You can no longer be bold because anytime you subdue the good in you and allow evil to prevail, you will lose your boldness. Am I talking to a believer? You will lose your boldness. You can no longer stand before the devil. Anytime you see a believer living in fears, he or she has broken the mark. Because when you break the mark, you begin to live in fears. Anytime a believer becomes afraid of death, anytime a believer becomes afraid of being a victim, anytime a believer is afraid that one thing or the other may happen to him or her, watch that believer. He has subdued good and allow evil. But a believer who is in right standing with God is afraid of nothing. Am I saying the truth? Because I know myself. I know I'm in right standing with God. I am not afraid of anything. I am not afraid of anybody. Oh, 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 but show me a compromising believer. I will show you a fearful believer. Show me a believer who is always tensed. Now hear this. If you are my friend. And each time. I see you with another person. I become scared. It is because there are some lies I have told you. So when I see you with another person, I feel no the truth. I will be afraid that she might tell you the truth. Come, am I am I am I talking to you now? Uh, so I don't want you around another person uh, because what I have told you is a lie and I've been holding you with this lies and let me make another point here uh, uh, before I go in life uh, uh, when you are close when I have a relationship with you uh, uh, every, everyone listen to me now uh, le let me draw one or two illustrations and I'll let you go if I have a relationship with you now uh, and both of us are in a relationship uh, we are friends in this friendship anybody who contributes more to the relationship feels he is the one holding the relationship come is it true there is something good in you you have not brought it out there is nobody sitting here today there is nobody listening to the sound of my voice from anywhere in the world that has nothing in him or her Everybody has something. We are not managing you in the choir. You are an asset. Listen to me. You are not completing the number. You are filling a gap. The only thing is, we may not have discovered the gap you are filling. Come on. We may not have discovered the gap you are filling. We may not have discovered your usefulness in the choir. But you are here for a purpose. So what do you do? Discover the goodness on the inside of you and walk with it. Everybody in the choir becomes loyal. Come on. There is nobody in this life that has no good deposit on the inside of him or on the inside of her. There is something this generation needs that God has given you. And, and I give this to you. What he gave to you, he didn't give another in the whole of this choir. So we need you. Come on, help me talk to yourself. Say, I'm needed. I'm needed. Uh, talk to yourself. Say, I'm needed. I'm needed. I can hear you. Say, I'm needed. I'm needed. Because there is something good in you. We need you. We need that good thing on the inside of you. We need it. It is needed. It is important to us that we get it. 
It is important to God that we get it. Not just to us. It's important to God as well that we get it. If you hear me, sir, here. You have enough goodness in you. You are full of goodness. Everyone around you may have told you how wrong you are. How bad you are. How unbearable you are. It's okay. No matter what they have told you, I came to tell you the truth from the word of God. In spite of everything they have seen, there is goodness on the inside of you. If you hear me, you will shout amen. Yeah. Your brothers may have looked at you and, and say you are useless. How many times have we started business for you and it didn't work? Your sisters may have looked at you and they said nothing good can come out of you. We have tried to make you succeed but you are not succeeding. But in all of those, I came sent by God to tell you that there is goodness on the inside of you. There is something good. There is something about you that no one else has here. There is something about you that no one else can fit in here. There is something about you. There is something you can do that I cannot do. There is something that I can do that you cannot do. That is why you carry goodness and I carry goodness. When we come together, what do we do? You contribute your quarter and I contribute my quarter and we make for a house full of goodness and we make for a house full of goodness but it starts from within uh, uh, can I tell you uh, uh, that that woman uh, who, who, who brings out soup for, for, for the house help uh, and servants in the house and pour water into it you know what she's doing she know the difference between the soup she poured the water and the one she didn't pour water. Uh, that is why the one she poured the water she will not give to her own children. Uh, but the one she poured the water she will give to the servants. Uh, and then her children will eat the one that she didn't pour water. Uh, uh, doesn't that tell you that she know what she is doing? Uh, uh, but can I say this to you? Uh, inside of her she know the right thing to do. Am I talking to you now? Oh, oh, but several times uh, uh, she know how to also lie to you and deceive you, you know what she will say eh? uh, she will say the soup is not enough uh, so that is why I added some water if the soup is not enough why don't you add water for all of us come on add water for why will you single some people out to add water in their own that means there is something they are not that others are come on there is something they are not that others are. And what is that? Wickedness. So when in that person, where there is wickedness, there is what? There is goodness. Help me touch your neighbor. Say there is goodness in you. You can show it. Shall I remind you uh, that there are men uh, who can scratch, uh, they, they will scratch the chat card of 3,000 naira to, to a girlfriend, uh, but we hardly help their fellow man who is hungry and needed 500 naira. Uh, 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 your, your fellow man is hungry and needed 500 naira uh, you can give it to him and you tell him I don't have uh, uh, but a little girl uh, will do a little cat walk and you will scratch card of 3,152 and still tell her that that thing is nothing if you come in the evening I know what to do am I talking to you right now but is it true inside that man there is goodness there is goodness. Uh, 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 how many of you know uh, uh, that sisters who are genuine believers find it difficult to find favor in the eyes of some flamboyant brothers uh, uh, than those who are looking wayward. If you want those brothers to help you, uh, uh, then you need to wear mini. Uh, uh, then you need to wear bomb short. Uh, then you are talking. They will put their hands into their pocket. Uh, uh, but when you tie your hair, come to church, clean the church, worship God in the field of the Lord. We are scared that is your size. Then you are out of it. When you greet them, good morning. Oh, man. 
but the one that is wearing bomb short, wearing a skirt that is showing all over her body, if, if that one doesn't greet them, they will greet that one. Sister, you, know, you don't forget to greet me. You know the great person. Come, am I saying the truth or not? Uh, but that's the truth. But that's the truth. Uh, uh, sister, uh, uh, you don't pass me before. You don't pass me again. You, you know they see me. Good morning. Uh. Am I saying the truth, brother? Uh, but this man doing this thing, uh, there is goodness in him. But but you know you know you know what it means. Uh, we are encouraging them to keep doing like that. Why we are in discouraging the good ones, uh, and that is my calling. That is my message, sister. That is my message, brother. Let us discourage evil so that the good thing can grow. If every brother here. And every sister here will make up their mind uh, that I will favor the decent ones. I will favor the ones who have the fear of God in them. And you see a decent sister walking to church and her slippers, her sandals is not looking so nice because she doesn't have boyfriends here and there that would buy sandals for her. And you call her aside and give her one thousand and I give her 1,000. She can afford 2,000 to buy Nigerian made sandals from her area. She will change it next Sunday. The way what once we see new sandal in her, in her, on, on her. And they will ask themselves how come her? she didn't come to junction with us. She was not at the nightclub with us. How come she's changing? And the next day another brother look at her and say you need a new gown and you give her 2,000 and I give her 2,000 she can afford a gown of 4,000 and she's coming to church another time wearing a new gown and the people who feel they are wayward they try to walk around when the service is on they won't sit in one place because they got markets to sell because they are marketing themselves they will parade all over the place when you refuse to look at them and I refuse to look at them tomorrow they will change their mind tomorrow they will change their mind oh, but anytime we patronize them we encourage them to continue but when we say no to them and you look at a sister oh, looking the way my daughter is looking you said this is nice oh, go and ask evangelist where so she got her heart and you buy this heart for that sister that is not wayward and she puts on that, 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 that heart and she's looking good oh, my daughter is looking good and she's not looking wayward you can take her to anywhere in the world she will represent godliness and represent jehovah and yet not seduce any man am i talking to you now but most parents we, we patronize our children we want them to be like that uh, that is why a father will look at a daughter that is half naked and your daughter is living the house half, half naked and you are smiling and you are smiling and you see the mother telling her no no change that one there is one you wore, you wore last week that's one that they thought from here. Go and wear it. Come on, am I talking to somebody now? Go and wear it. And she goes to wear it. My friend, all of those, we need to stop them. Let us encourage good things so that they will come to us. I want us to encourage good and discourage evil evil. Is it possible? Yes, sir. Talk now do family. I'm looking for a family that will be one. If my brother is selling okreka and I want to buy okreka, I'm not going to any other place. I will not go to buy from a Muslim. I will not go to buy from a Hindu. I will not go to buy from a pagan when my brother is selling that thing 
And when I come to my brother, my brother should not shit me. He should not sit on that platform uh, uh, that I must buy from him. And then he will give me higher price than what I should have gotten elsewhere. My brother will give me the lowest price I can get it. I will patronize my brother. I will buy that okreka from my brother. And when my brother wants to buy wood and I sell wood, my brother will come to me and patronize me. And this is a family. That way, our world begins to go around us am i talking to somebody now i want to buy cement i locate a tokenadu brother that is selling cement because that my brother have prayed oh god bless me how is god going to bless my brother how else will god bless my brother if not to give me money to buy cement when my brother is selling cement come on uh, uh, God will bless my brother uh, by giving me money to buy cement uh, when my brother is selling cement uh, and I go to the shop of my brother and as I'm buying the cement uh, I'm not just buying it from a stranger I'm buying it from my brother he will not give me refilled cement he will give me a good one if my brother doesn't have a good one he will say to me brother hold on let me go and get it for you it is not my assignment to run around the market my brother know the right place he will go to the right place bring it and give it to me with joy until we get there the church is not complete until we get there i want to buy a shirt and i have a brother selling shirts i don't have a problem and my brother don't have a problem and ladies and gentlemen what does he do he makes the world of the church to rotate around the church I bless my brother and my brother bless me. Come on. I, 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 want, I want to buy Panadol and my brother is selling Panadol. Who else will give me original Panadol if not my brother? Am I talking to you now? Yes, uh, whatever it is, until the church gets there, we have not gotten there. Uh, but is it possible for us to get there? Yes, uh, talk to me, church. Is it possible for us to get there? It is very possible for us to get there. Uh, but the truth of the matter is the only way we can get there is when we bring out the goodness in us. Are you going to bring out the goodness in you? You promise? If you bring out the goodness in you and I bring out the goodness in me, this society will be pointing at us. These people if I want to eat mama put and the master is selling mama put I don't need to go elsewhere am I saying the truth to you eh? because when I get there I'm sure of at least jara come on I'm sure of at least jara eh? come on isn't it true Listen, help me tell your neighbor one more time. Say, bring out the good in you. Say it one more time. Say, bring out the good in you. Anytime I decide to tell the truth to a stranger, but not tell the truth to my brother, I become a wicked man. Do you agree with me now? How many of us in here are saying to ourselves, we've not been getting it right before? But from now we need to change. Anyone like that here? How can I want to buy fuel? And I'm driving past. I see Prime Path fueling station. I will drive past it. And enter another fueling station. Is something wrong with me? Even if there is queue there, I will wait. Because this one is our family. Am I talking to you right now? Because this one is what? Our family. This one is our family. Eh? And I, if I, if as I get in there, I will have this sense of security. I will feel at home because it's our team. How many of you feel that way? And I want somebody 
uh, uh, to do a carpentry work for me and the brother in this house is a carpenter i don't have to come and look for anybody my brother i have work i expect my brother to use the best wood because my brother is aware that after doing the work we will still meet in the house we will still meet in the house and he will not do bad to me because we will meet in the house so he will do me right am i talking to you now how can i be looking for a builder when i have builder in the house how can i be looking for something that i have this one is my own am i talking to you now if my brother has a barbing saloon and that is why whatever you're doing know how to do it good if my brother have a barbing saloon all of us who want to cut our hair should meet there am i am i talking to you now uh, so each time i come to bat my hair I meet my brother there oh praise god hallelujah how you doing brother how you doing brother how's everything uh, in Toknado family no shaking and uh, he's cutting our hair in the Toknado family and you're sitting there watching in the Toknado spirit and we are discussing in the Toknado spirit and when you're paying you're paying your Toknado brother uh, so the money is rotating around the family am i talking to you now if i have a tokenado brother that has keke and i need to go to anywhere my brother bring your keke let's go uh, so on the way uh, somebody stops my brother i will not walk away or uh, on the way police stop my brother i will not walk away i will stand by my brother i will plead with my brother i will stand till we finish the matter hey When my brother is feeling it, I'm feeling it. When my brother is enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. When my brother is happy, I'm happy. When my brother is hungry, I'm hungry. I am I talking to you right now until we get there. If I get into Ariara International Market and I run out of cash and I need somebody uh, that will give me transport to go home and I have a brother at Ariara International Market, I should be rest assured that I can be stranded. Am I saying the truth? And not when I'm coming to my brother's shop and he sight me from far, he will dodge me. How many of you understand what I'm saying? He will just sight me from far and he takes off. Tell his boys, where and he ever I will shop him. I shop him non asu. Come, do they do that? And I guess they and become stranded. And people around are watching. The next thing, what would they say? Kwande tokna do Lende tokna do But what will it take from my brother? My brother who brother and you give me a hawk how you doing brother i said brother i'm doing all right uh, uh, brother please i just came to market to buy this thing i thought it was two thousand but uh, they, they finally sold it to me at uh, uh, three thousand naira and that has shortened my transport can i please get 200 naira on, on sunday I give it back to you and my brother will not say ah child you didn't come one away ago oh if you had come one hour ago, it's just 30 minutes ago now. Oh, Chineke. Naga Yonyozo. Oh, Gayonyozo. Ah, sorry. You didn't come early. My brother do not need to tell me all of those. And my brother tells me, okay, 200 naira, okay, it's okay. And my brother runs in and looks for 200 and puts it in my hands. My brother do not need to tell me to pay him back brother is it not just 200 forget it and i'm going with in the spirit my brother has done good to me i'm indebted to god to do it for another person yes, to do it for another person and i go home having it in mind this is what Toknadu brother has done to me. And tomorrow, I will be in my own line. Another brother shows up. I say, Toknadu brother, brother, come here. What is it? Uh, oh, brother, I want to buy this thing. I, I, I came with 2,000, but they say it's 2,500. Take 500. It's, that's how our family do. Oh, Yalavada Busa. That's how our family do. That's how we roll. It's a family thing. That's how we do it. How many of you will want that kind of church? How many of us will enjoy that kind of church? 
How many of us, your spirit is telling you now that this is the church that Jesus died for and this is what we should do? How many of us? Do you feel that way? God will do it for you. Until such a time we get a church like that, my joy will never be full. So stand up wherever you are. Stand up wherever you are. I told you I didn't come to preach today. I came to give you a message. You will not prefer to give to another what your brother will eat. How many of you know that there are people who will prefer to buy something 2,000 instead of buying it one eight from their brother? Eh? And what, what is the reason? The reason is that in church today, we have what I call the spirit of competition. Until you know that I am not competing with you, you will not help me. Until I know that you are not competing with me, I will not help you. Let us help one another. We are not in competition. Can a believer shout amen? amen. Let's stop fooling ourselves. It is that same God. It is that same God. We are in the same family. Let's stop the spirit of competition. Some of us think if I give my brother that connection, he will be richer than me. My friend, let me say this to you. If your brother is richer than you and you made him to be that rich, you should be proud and give God glory. Am I saying the truth? Why will you prefer to give it to another instead of your brother? When you are aware, if you give it to your brother, it will remain in the family. Will it remain in the family? It will remain in the family. So give it to your brother. It is better my brother have it than an outsider have it. We are not competing. We are here to complement one another. It is that same God. When he lifts you, I will praise him. When he lifts me, praise him. Am I talking to the church? That's the message I have for you. That's the message I have for you. I will not do your own. Go and read the Bible. All of us are not called to do the same kind of thing. Every man of God listening to the sound of my voice now, hear me. There are prophets to individuals. That is why you will meet a prophet in your marketplace. That prophet, if he leave the marketplace, may not prophesy. Correct. You will meet a prophet on the streets. That prophet, when you gather ten persons, may not prophesy. But he can stop one person and talk to the person. Come on. There's another level of prophet called prophet to family. There's a prophet whose work will stop at the level of talking to the family level. And the level of your calling determines the level you will get to in life. And that is the level of your success. If the man who is given one talent did not use it, God will punish him. If the man who is given five talent did not use it, God will punish him. God is not expecting the man who he gave two talents to make the same thing like the man who he gave five talents. God is not expecting the same result. He rewarded them, but when you read the Bible, the Bible says he gave one five talents, another two talents, another one talent. The one he gave five talents made another five, making his own ten. The one he gave two made use of his own and made another two, making his own four. That means in all of his struggle, he's not even up to what God gave this man. How many of you get what I just said now? 
And now, listen, when God came, God was grateful to him as he was grateful to the man that made ten. Their greeting was the same level of greeting. Is it true? The same level of greeting. The same word that was used for this. It's the word that was used for this. Why? God is expecting you to make use of what he has given you. He's expecting me to make use of what he has given me. Now, you will not compare your success uh, by my success. Because what was given to me is not what was given to you. Because what was given to me is not what was given to you. Now, you will not uh, want to rate whether you were a man of God or not by what God gave to T.D. Jakes. Because the blessings of T.D. Jakes cannot be your own blessing. Because what God gave to T.D. Jakes is not what he gave to you. Am I talking to you now? And now, if you are in the city of Abba, you will not let yourself by the blessings that God gave Tokunadu. No, because the, the, uh, what God deposited in Tokunadu is not what he deposited in you. You will succeed according to what he deposited inside you. Tokunadu will succeed according to what is deposited inside me. Come on. And we will do it without competing do you know i saw something in that scripture that touched me i'm 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 i'm, I'm closing i'm closing but i want you to get this i saw something in that scripture god gave this man five talents gave this man two talents gave this man one talent came back this man used his five talent and made 10 and he was having 10 this man used his two talents and made two and was having four. This man went and hid his one talent. When God showed up, he thanked this man who used five and made ten. Thanked this man who used two and made four. Now came to this man and this man said, I know who you are. Let me give you back what you gave me. And this man brought back what was given to him. God collected that one from him. And when God collected the one from him, he didn't give it to the man who made four to make his own five. He gave it to the man who already has ten to make his own eleven. Come. Are you here now? To make his own eleven. Then I started asking myself, what kind of mathematics is this? But do you know something? God is aware of your capacity in life. God cannot give you a blessing you cannot carry. Oh, stand to your feet and let's pray now. Say, Father, there is something good in me. Oh, Lord, bring it out. Come on, talk to him now. Talk to him. I give you two minutes to talk to the Lord God of heaven. There is something good in you. God should bring it out. Bring it out. Oh, God, bring it out. Bring it out, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. There is something good in me, bring it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bible Believing Mission Incorporated, the dwelling place of the God of Talking and Truth. You can. It's just for you to organize yourself. Organize yourself. The, the capacity to make it happen is here. Organize yourself. There are many of you now listening to the sound of my voice. I came for you. If you watch me, I am not in a hurry. I am not conscious of time. Why am I not conscious of time? I am not preaching. I'm giving you a message. Yes, and I know by the message of God that is sinking into you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What am I going to do today? I will hand over to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
capacity to succeed. So, did you hear me, sir? Just put yourself together. And do yourself a favor. As I hand over capacity today, keep yourself organized. Between now and the next two months, every Tokunadu family member, God is positioning you where you will collect what God had not given others. Young man, come here. Uh, do you desire to travel abroad? Your whole heart now is that you want to travel abroad. Yes, Papa. Uh, 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 leave me to guide you. Uh, if not, uh, the little money you have saved now, uh, the, the connection they are bringing to you is a connection that will eat that money and not get visa for you. Don't follow that connection. Wait. Go. Uh, uh, oh, oh yeah, come here, my sister. Oh, oh yeah, come here, my sister. Uh, 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 there are plans uh, 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 in respect to uh, uh, that burial of your brother and what they want to do and what they have planned to do in the family. Uh, uh, your brother didn't die a natural death. Yes, uh, 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 they killed your brother. Yes. Uh, uh, they killed your brother. Uh, can you look for 100 naira? Go and bring 100 naira. I think I said I will not prophesy today. Uh, uh, but, but, but I said let's leave it for Thursday. <laughs> Is this hundred naira? Oh, yeah, give it to me. Uh, uh, when power jam power, the lesser will fall for the greater. What they planned is going to hit them back. Amen. They've killed your brother. Yes. And they think it's over with the family, but it's not true. Uh, uh, because uh, a man will say his own, but God will do his own. Amen. Go. I am still standing. Bible believing mission incorporated the dwelling place of the God of talking and truth. Do you believe I I I, I can do something? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Against what they have told you yes, sir. and against what they are about to tell you. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You believe that it is God that gave you your breast and not man. Yes, sir. It is God that will determine whether cancer or whatever they call it will exist in that breast or not yes, sir. you believe it's god i believe god you believe god yes, sir. i like that go try your best if you can take excuse from your school take excuse bring me the result if they give it to you before thursday yes, sir. bring it here for me on thursday forget about the pains you're feeling in your breast right now Forget about what they are seeing. Forget about what's going on. Forget about the pains in your armpit and all that. Yes. Bring the result for me. I carry double letter coin. Yes. What, what, makes, what makes your brother think? Uh, 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 that he can go to a shrine uh, 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 that is using uh, 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 72 candlesticks uh, uh, and then make a sacrifice before the shrine uh, uh, and decide uh, uh, that the, uh, the Iroko tree in their family will become a level ground and he is leveling you and he is thinking uh, that no man can see what I have done and no man know what I have done and what I've done is a top secret. 
that even uh, prophets will not see uh, but he didn't know uh, that you are sitting uh, under the, 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 the influence and the covering uh, of a prophet uh, that is beyond the fifth generation now and, and, and what that means uh, is that what is hidden from others uh, we can go beyond it and then we see it we keep quiet when we want to but we talk when we want to uh, he think he has swallowed you but please can you stand up sir um, now I'm going to make something clear because in this season I want to make it clear to my generation uh, that there is something God has given me that is not compatible as you leave me here today they buried you 17 feet. That is to say by their conclusion, there is nothing you will do in this life again to rise. They've concluded your matter. Sir, sir, come, come. Uh, 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 right now, you are retired. What you should get before you retire, you didn't get. You got to the top in your career, but what you should get, you didn't get. You're right. Sir. You got to the position of a director, but what you should get, you didn't get. That's correct. Sir. You know your job. When it comes to, why am I here in secret service? You're right, sir. Eh? Was that where you start? But even now, the heavens above you can still open. And you will get what you couldn't get serving. They want to trap you, but they can't trap you. You are standing face to face with the one carrying the prophetic mandate of the God of Toknadu. Two of you are their target. You and the one living in America. Both of you are their targets. They said if we can close them up, we have finished them. That one is a star too. But he's a star that is in shame. He's a star that is tied down. There is nothing he put in sand in America that works out. But now, call me Tokunadu. Tokunadu. Call it three times. Tokunadu. That's the second one. Tokunadu. Nah! Where he is in America, I am speaking from Nigeria in the city called Aba. I settle his matter here. Between now and three months' time, he will see the opening of heaven. Go. And your case is hereby settled. Amen. Let them make their plans. They cannot stop you. They can't frustrate you in the, your place of work. Not when I'm still alive. Point me like this. Point me like this. Anybody who is making you targets that they want to frustrate you in your place of work. Now, I stamp my authority as a carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of Tokunadu. It will not work for them. I don't know who is going to help this young boy. He is drunk. Come, can you hear me? Touch him. Can you hear me? He is drunk. Okay, let me talk to you, man. Me na him neku. Odi ebe jia hagilo mogega na arose. Ga politi huwa rose. Hase a rose a hambi ako obu si o moge. Hase a rose a hambi ako obu si o moge ye obu oguma. A rose a hambi kam chorubua. Kam me bisye ya hase ya me. 
ma buga ci kwara ya ndebu tere ya me tora kam me tua eh me ya me ya me ya me ya me ya so you said she's your, she's your mother yes sir and you are a member of this commission yes sir eh yes sir serious one I like the way our church people talk. Serious member. Okay. Mana Ubua. In the next 14 minutes, the 14 spirits that they made sacrifice to and asked to come and start killing you and your children, 14 of them shall return back to the senders. They will not kill any member of your family. They will not stop them in the name of Jesus Christ. The one that is scattering the work of their hands, right now I stop it. Settle. 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 It's done. Come, put your hand inside the pocket of that boy and bring out the drink. Where is the drink? Okay, give me your attention. This is what is called spirit of uselessness. Please sit down, sir. Spirit of uselessness. This young boy has been projected into uselessness. Check what the time is now. And look at what he is drinking in an empty stomach. He has been projected into what I call what? Uselessness. What is the desire of the enemy? To waste his life so that he will not amount to anything, he will not ask for the things that belong to the Father. He will not demand for his rights. And it is because of the family's business they killed his father. Because of the same family's business, that is why they turned him like this. Nobody asked him to stop going to school. He stopped going to school. They are only busy giving him small, small money so that he can keep on drinking and wasting himself. I stand upon this authority given to me by the God of heaven. I ask that the spirit of uselessness will fly out of this young man. Let a believer shout him and wait me. I will touch his head with my hand. And the power of hell that is holding him bound will leave him. They will lose their grip. They will lose their hold. The uncle who is right now managing the father's business, who is eating and enjoying the money, since this is what he like, he will enter the same condition. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. The Lord will deliver you from now. He will never live this life again like this. The uncle will begin to do like this. He will wake up in the morning and desire to drink. And he will be drinking himself to stupor. Sings that is what he like. Whatsoever a man sow, shall reap it. However they have journeyed, whatever they have done, to silence you people and begin to have a say above those who originally should own the compound. Everything they have done stops working right now. Amen. The voice that said no man will be able to help you to amount to what you should amount to in life. 
the voice that said they will scatter your way ahead of time and over the years it looks like what they said has been happening right now i cancel it amen uh, uh, you, your, your life is beginning to suffer uh, uh, where you find yourself now is called a tight corner uh, because the, the, the person you marry uh, uh, before you get into his life they have almost finished him he's not performing as a man uh, uh, so the, the hope of having children is, is not there uh, and everything he had gathered they have seized and above all they are removing him to behave like somebody that is insane he doesn't have control over his head anymore and now you are trapped, locked you don't know where to go from here uh, uh, by Thursday I will give you direction uh, uh, that court case is looking one kind by Thursday I will tell you what will happen in that court case and I will tell you what God will do uh, 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 help me say I will not die the death they want me to die shout it say I will not die the death they want me to die do you know this person? Yes, uh, she's your wife. Uh, has she been under attack for some time now? Most times she doesn't even know what is happening to her. Uh, 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 may God deliver you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, stand up. Stand up. Uh, 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 there is an ungwa man uh, that want to seize your land. Uh, uh, that land is not up to full plot. It's around half plot of land there about. Uh, uh, you bought it from him, but he, he is near him. Uh, uh, he wants to seize the land. He doesn't want you to own it. Uh, and he, 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 he said he will pay you, but he doesn't want to pay you money. He wants to uh, uh, seize the land from yes, your hand. Uh, uh, bring me the document of that land by Thursday. Uh, uh, everybody stretch your hands to me. Everybody stretch your hands to me. Uh, the power of the Lord will come upon you. Uh, and the favor of the Almighty will locate you. Uh, uh, you will not die by day. You will not die by night. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Uh, come on, somebody shout amen. Bible believing mission in the dwelling place of the God of talk and truth. This week, nobody will say sorry to me because of you. They shall tell me congratulations. Shout amen three times.